How the ride was coming down here though? It was smooth. It was smooth. Mm-hmm. I thought we played though. Why dog, you say that? Cause my dog with me, he had needed some gas, so like we passed the toll on the Alligator Alley. I'm like, well, I think it's over with the dog. He like, bro, I think it's one more, one mm-hmm. more exit to get through, but we ended up made it straight. It was a smooth little ride. Okay then. So what you got going on down here? What you got going on in the city though? Um, shit, I really came down here to fuck with you. I, I linked up with my dog Cubane Meats. You know what I'm saying? Me and Brooke way back, almost about shit, about twelve years now. Okay then. In a minute, so like, you know, that when I was down here, I was like, bro, I gotta come down. Then when you hit me, I was like, bro, I ain't never been down here. Like, oh, you, you never been down? No. Nah, uh-uh. Oh shit, we yeah. had to get you. They've been asking for you though, dog. Yeah, I ain't never been down here, bro. So. Mm-hmm. Even though we done started different, man. Y'all know what it is, Tippy Toe Podcast. Who my guest is for the night, my dog? Man, this is the whole Slugger's World, man. You already know that time it is. You know how I'm rocking, man. Okay, then. For the people that want to know my dog, how did you get the name Slugger's World? From my goal. Mm-hmm. Well, from my goals. Me and my dog, they don't like, when we got my goals, they just, just call me Slug, Gold Mouth Slug. Mm-hmm. When I end up going to prison, I just ran with Slugger. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to tell nobody my name. So, like, unless I was going to fuck with you. I ain't really want nobody to know my name. I just told everybody it was Slugger. Okay, and then. Really went. And for the people that don't know, where you from, my dog? I'm from Clearwater, Florida. And let us know how it is growing up Clearwater, Florida. Uh, I don't know. It's fast answer. So like, you really get what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Oh it my. is what you make it. Like, it's, I ain't going to say it's opportunity, but you got options. You know what I'm saying? You got options. To, you can stay there. You can stick and move. And and growing up, single parent, both parents let us know. We you know we just vibing right now. Single, Take your single, time while you roll Single, up. single, single parent, um, only child. I ain't find out till I was getting ready to come home from prison who my father was in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like I have been lied to my whole life. I thought somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I thought somebody else was my old boy. Shit like that. And then right before I come home, find out I got two brothers. I got a brother in Jacksonville, a brother in St. Pete. You know what I'm saying? And then I got some cousins in Clearwater. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I really just found that out when I was grown. All right, so let's put these phones on silent too. So, so like, how it was doing school though? Did you fuck with school, play sports, or did you even attend? How you was doing? I played, I played um, my first year. I ended up getting JV. I wasn't big enough. I was a little dude. Mm-hmm. Skinny and shit. I played JV and then they um they went and played tight. I, I was playing wide. I was just small. I was skinny as hell. So when they played tight, they needed big blockers for the tight end. I couldn't fit the position. Them bitches bench me. I ain't sat the bench my whole life. So I was like, fuck that shit. Oh, so you always used to starting and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I always started baseball, basketball, football. Oh, you all around. Oh. Yeah, I did all that shit. Soccer I, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You was ain't playing. Yeah, my old girl made me do two years of everything just to see what I like, like what I want to do, and you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So now growing up, though, like, who did you listen to growing up? What kind of music were you, know, fascinated by as a kid? Pop. Tupac? Yeah, for a little while. I, I liked his beats. I liked a lot of his beats. Those were the only songs I really listened to. He got deeper songs I probably never heard of, but certain songs he had funky beats, I fucked with him. So it was his beats that attracted to you? Yeah, you know, then I grew, like, Trick. You know, the whole hot boy era, that cash money, no limit situation, like all that. Mm-hmm. So, um, when you started dipping dabbing into the studio, you had a friend that was rapping, what it was? Yeah, I was 16, my cousin. She, um, she ended up, she was from up north, came down, but she ended up bumping to some dudes from up north that was rapping. And they was like, man, listen, they had a little thing and they showed her how to record. So when she did it, she showed me some shit. I'm like, damn. So I wanted to record myself. So I took a, I had like, that was back in the day where you could record through your, your radio player. Mm-hmm. You could pull up the mic in it. So I had one radio player. I had a five disc CD player play instrumentals. Then I'd get up next to the speaker with the other, with the mic hooked up to the other mm-hmm. radio. You know what I'm saying? And just sit right there and play that bitch and just wrap it right through. Man, that's how I did my first Did take. that bit come out sounding right? It was great. I mean, not the music. I'm talking about not the, your lyrics, but the sound of it, the quality. I don't even think we went. It was like ninth grade, tenth grade. We so weren't even worried about that. Yeah, we weren't even worried about that shit. Okay. It was like damn, what nigga rapping yeah. there? Mm-hmm. When we did the little tape, it was a little. Excuse me, little dude. He was in school. He heard about us doing the tape, and he was like, "Bro, y'all, y'all want to? You ever thought about recording? It? You want to put it on CD?" So it was, it was you and who else? 
Uh, one of my homeboys, Bangy. Yeah. Oh, so he was rapping with you too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He heard I was doing it. He was like, bro, I want to try that shit too. So we did it together. You know what I'm saying? And then the, the dude, Buddy, was in his class. Buddy stepped to him and was like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to put it on CD? Mm -hmm. I can record y'all. So we like, yeah, shit, we went. And then from there, it was a wrap. And for one more time, for the people that don't know, what city you from again, my dog? I'm from Clearwater. Anybody from Clearwater jump in the game yet? Mm, me? Okay then. Shit, I, don't, I can't speak for nobody else. So, so when, uh, when like, you know, I'd be at first, you know, nigga rapping, everybody, you know, ain't taking it serious. When did it start taking it serious though? What song did you drop? Or what, you know? When I came like, home, huh? I dropped Carry On. I had a song called Carry On, and then they jumped on it. And it took off, and then like within the, about two months of me dropping that, I dropped a club song, the song called Let Me In There, and then. Through the momentum of carry on, when I dropped that, they just ran with it and it was over. And they wanted to know, so that's when that buzz came out. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. like, so before you went to prison with um, there was it was ain't really it was. Nah, I just was known. I had been popular my whole life, so I just mm -hmm. was known. We were rapping just like before I fell, we were selling CDs and shit. So like literally, they just respected the hustle. Like every week I have a new CD for you. Mm -hmm. Every week I might have a new CD, new songs, seven songs, ten songs, fifteen songs. But I literally go to the studio every single day and just record and record but every week i'm gonna sell cds okay then mm -hmm. and then you don't mind you ain't got to say too much but what you went to prison for if you don't mind is asking no five on charge no five on charge mm -hmm. over there was around that you know you had to keep that thing on the, back in the day okay then so now everybody want to know dog what's your relationship with bigger rankings Shit, i don't even know to be honest with you i ain't Mm -hmm. When we round, I mean, it's all love. I ain't never got no bad vibes from him or nothing. Or, you know what I'm saying? But it's a business, so I can't really say on a personal level how we ain't never had no dealings business, so I can't say nothing. Like, personally, he ain't never he'd see me, he address me, I address him. Like, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just this big celebrity that brought him some big money or nothing, but we grew up. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about that pick a boo dog. Hmm. Yeah, uh, how Dave, that came about? Yeah, how that came about with you and Dave from the grave? Um, how did y'all meet? My management situation, my management situation, and then before he had uh, had did a song with Dave. So when we linked, we was just going over who you know what I'm saying, who who we could fuck with, who you know what I'm saying, who do we want to fuck with, who who just be on the same shit, we on the same type of time, like. Oh, you got a lot of you good. Yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, we want you to like that bitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he um. You know, he put him out there, and I checked him out for a minute, and then shit, I was like, fuck it, but it ended up working like, bro, cool people. Mm-hmm. And another thing they wanted to know, my dog, what's your relationship with DJ Swift? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna speak on How did y'all meet? You ain't got speak Nah, on. but I ain't gonna lie, Swift, Swift played a major part, like, you don't realize it at first because it be so much shit going on, but like, my first cover Swift did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, before even Swift was Swift, he still had the same name, but, like, he was still making beats. He used to send beats and stuff. I just never really was on it like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh, But he did my first couple covers. Uh, always shot me beats. You know, he always looked out. He good, people. You know what I'm saying? We about to shoot a video, though. Actually. You know what I'm saying? How did the, how did the connection, how did y'all first meet you? Did somebody with man? Nah, we never met. Oh. I've never met him personally, like face to face. I've mm -hmm. never met him. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I um, we were doing carry on, and just from watching, like just from over the years, you could tell like he one of them people that he will if he fuck with you or like you or whoever. You know what I'm saying? He pick and choose who he want to fuck with, but like he will use his platform, mm -hmm. to do some shit. So I guess at that time he may have felt I was lacking covers or something. And when he hollered at me, he was like, "Hey, bro." You know, I do covers. Mm -hmm. You know, you got any pictures? Shit, I shot him some pictures and he, and he did it. You know what okay, I'm saying? Yeah. And talking about you and Moot Boy, how y'all made that song come about? I had just got out of a situation. I'm like, bro, I need to make me a power move. And I been, you know, I, I grew up on that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? On that whole King Titus. So it was like, you know, the situation, like who 
can you see yourself fucking with a who move outside of this rap shit? Like, not even, you know, just get outside of rap shit. What type of character niggas is and who you fuck with? And it was like, man, I'm gonna fuck with dog. And he funk. Everybody liked it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let me fuck with him. And we got together. It was love. We still fuck around. You know what I'm saying? And but were you shot though? How? How it did though? Nah, like, hell nah. Hell uh-huh. nah. I ain't. Until I fell back from music, I ain't never questioned nothing I dropped. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, but just when I fell back and got out of tune, music changed from when I was out. When I first came out, it was gangster. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To where it switched, it's, it's somewhat gangster, but it, that shit be watered down. So, it's like, and how I'm bringing it down. You don't hear too many niggas like me. So, that style, it, it may seem outdated, but then when you put it out there, you got niggas feeding for it. They want it. So. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you say you be in and out of it. Why, why is that? Why you be in and out of it sometimes? Oh, before I was just in and out of jail. Okay, so you think so? You reckon out, yeah, okay. I was reckon out. Crashed uh-huh. on that shit. And so now let's talk about it, dog. One more time for the people that's watching that ain't here. What, let them know where you from one more time, dog. I'm from Clearwater, Florida. Best way city. Best. Boot up, dog. Let's talk Another about China. it, dog. Boot up. How the fuck, how the hell you put that shit together, dog? We ain't, we ain't gonna speed through it either. Let's slow grind this convo. Um, how we made that big track happen? Because you brought the city, you uh, Shit going crazy to right now. Yeah, That's shit. how it came about. I got let's, into a new situation. Um, the beat. Let's talk about the beat first because you ain't going to run through the boot. I did all that. I did what I'm saying. How yeah, did you, did how did you hear the beat? Break us down. I was on YouTube. I was on YouTube and I found the beat, but the page ain't seem right. So I'm going through the comments now, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, to see who beat it is. I need this beat. And I look, I hear somebody, somebody in the comments talking about, hey, man, this my beat, man. You stole my beat. No. So I'm G shit. So I'm like, yeah, shit, I hit his ass up. I'm like, bro, that's your beat for real? He like, yeah, shit, let me get it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to sell it? He like, yeah, shit. So I got it. And then. Uh, so, you, so you end up doing it solo first. Yeah. When okay. I dropped it, it was just one verse and a hook. And then I had another song. I actually had another song in mind. I was finna redo the Made Man with him. You know what I'm saying? That BG and Birdman shit, but it just wasn't coming out right. Like it, for some reason, like I couldn't just get it right. So I'm like, man, fuck it, I'm holding the boot. I know the boot up a, a hit. I just need another verse. But I'm like, man. So I talked to a couple people. We were just like, shit. When he came into town, you know, he had a nice big wave. So they were like, you know, y'all are sound good together. We did it. That's another situation. You know, real recognize, real get around some niggas, and it is what it is. But like, the 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 management situation I was in fucked that situation up. Like, that about, record could have been way bigger than what it is. Why you say they fucked? Why you say they fucked it up? Business. You don't feel business like business and egos. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this side don't know this side, and this side feels some type of way, but you didn't conduct business in that manner. You put me on the forefront. Mm-hmm. So everybody over here know me. They don't know you. Mm-hmm. But when they came out, they don't know you. It's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So you felt some type of way. And, man, shit. Hey, Slugger, how you do it, dog? You dropping these hits, but shit getting in mimics. Sound like personal shit. How you prevent shit from next time? Because you know you're going to keep dropping them now. Shit, I don't even know. I guess they're out of the way. Just don't even deal with motherfuckers. Like, I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, I ain't, it, like, G shit, I ain't never really thought about life. It's either, it's been jail, like, music ain't never been no problem to me. So, it, even, like, when that situation went down, I'm still cool. I, I mm-hmm. can still hit brother them up, every last one of everything, Gucci, not old oh boy in the situation, you know what I'm saying? And on both sides, I, I ain't really picked no sides. And, you know, I played a neutral, but I'm telling this side over here, bro, you played it wrong over here. You played it wrong over here. Like, if y'all can't come together, then that's on y'all. But as a man, that's where I stand on it. I don't, and both sides, you know, re, you know, respected it, and it was cool. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about that fuck it up, dog. So why you felt like you had to snap on that bitch? Nobody ain't take you serious till you know, jump on that track. I feel like on fuck it up, it, it just was crazy. Like, okay, boom, I dropped carry on, shit go up. I had a little situation going on. I'm going to try it in. I beat it, and then like the whole support just went down. Like, psh, you know what I'm saying? They were fucking with me tough while I'm going to try all this. You know what I'm saying? They sharing that thing, posting that thing. And it was like right after that, it was it, so it was like a situation where they wanted to see me go. And mm-hmm. then when I didn't go, it's like okay, what what's next? So they fell back. So they they wanted more hits and shit like that. So I was making it, but then 
Mm-hmm. But boy, you you got you got to break it down to me about that too easy though, though. How you swag that bitch out from the visual to the bars on that bitch? God damn. That was real. That was great. Even fuck it up. Like, well, fuck it up, I did it going to 60 seconds shit. What about them bars? The woman you come on that bit like that, though. Mm-hmm. It just with timing. Just now, you, you wrote that bitch or you just freestyle? Nah, nah, I wrote it. How about the second, boy? Yeah. You came on that bit, though. Yeah. You feel me? I'm saying, though, like, what you say to the little kids, though? You feel me? They keep, they give you motivation when they say, damn, boy. The kids? It's different. It's weird. You know, it just depends. Like, my kids getting older now, so, like, at sometimes it make you think they want to do it or not. Or, like, they, they go to school and be like, oh, man, your daddy, your daddy a rapper? Mm-hmm. Does see me. Hey, you a rapper? <laughs> he said you was a rapper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I rap. Mm-hmm. But you don't like to show him too much? Of them? Nah, because I don't want him to get caught up in that illusion. Like, bro, don't, if you want to do it, do it and go all the way through. But don't just think. Everything that you see is going on right now is just because of rap. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a team that's going on. You, you know, like the kids only see certain things. Right. So, if they only see my kids at school, they only see how my kids go to school. If my kids stay dressed, and now nah, I done told them, my daddy rap. You, you assume that this is what's paying. And certain times it do pay, and sometimes it don't. Mm-hmm. But don't just think like at all the time, rap is literally paying all my bills because it hasn't for a while. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't. Like why, why? Like why you promote that? And like what you want to do? And don't just focus on rap too. What do different stuff too? Do that. You know what I'm saying? Just learn everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But whatever you want to do, like really focus and do it. I just, I just, I don't really, I don't walk around just like just this big ego. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I still want to go to the football games and just chill. You okay, know what I'm then. saying? I don't. My son, this is my son game right here. Yeah. That's my daughter cheering or whatever. I don't want all these kids over here watching me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll come with it. But at the same time, man, we here for this game right here. Y'all watch this game. This the celebrity right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's do that. Uh-huh. I can teach you how to do this, but right now, you know what I'm saying? So doing it just this depends right. on the situation, where you find them, where you see them. And it's teaching what you do. Even when they see me, it's like, okay, because of the music, they'll take heed to what I say. Or they'll, they will they want to just be around me. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They playing ball. I get out there, grab the football. I go play catch with them. Make them line it up. Y'all do drills. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 shit like that. It's other shit to show them besides just music and shit. But. Let's talk about that one you just dropped, though, that timing. Like a week ago, I think. Seven, eight, nine. You just dropped that bit, though. I feel that's what it is. Like, it, What's that in mind you was when you dropped that thing? I'm fucking with that thing. You know Florida fucking with that thing. How you feeling about it, though? Just as, like, I was on some shit like, okay, boom, you finna come back out. What do they want to hear? You know what I'm saying? And not even what they want to hear. Fuck it. What what can a bitch try to tell? Who can tell them more about you than you? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So before all that bullshit, I'm going to dress all bullshit at the door. This is what's been going on. This is how it is. And this, what else? You, what you going to say now? You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get back to the music. This what really matter. All that other bullshit y'all trying to weed out and, and get a nigga boxed out because, oh, I don't like him because he ain't do this. And I don't like him because he do this. Like, nah, hell no. Nah. This everything that's been going on with a nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Nah, let's get back to the music. Let's let's funk. Now nah, go listen to this shit. Yeah. Then what, what, what you say, slugger to the people that say, damn, you keep it too real sometimes, though, dog. Because, you know, people can't handle that real shit sometimes. It don't relate in certain situations. A lot of these people ain't real with themselves. So how can you, you know what I'm saying, feel somebody else telling you some real shit if you ain't even keeping it with, real with yourself on a date? Mm-hmm. They don't want to hear that shit. Like, man, we get this. And they want to stay away from it. Just like real niggas don't want to be around some old sucker-ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Old sucker-ass niggas don't want to be around no real niggas. That's why they try to boss us up. And, and what's the la- label situation right now, though? It's not like you've been... I got a management deal and uh, just opened my own label and my own clothing line. Oh, so oh, the closing line. That's it right there you got on? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Man. First, you ain't first drop, man, no 3D nothing? Puff. Pr- you know, bro, I was... Man, you should have, bro. How you ain't bring tip and toe nothing? Bro, I ain't. That's my bad. I'm going to have to mail you one. Yeah, mail me. It yeah, do yeah, come yeah, Friday. Yeah. I'm down, so I have to ship you one, for okay, real. Okay, and what made you start the brand? Let us know. I always wanted to do clothes. For some reason, I just... I wanted my own clothing. Like, I, I just sit back and watch so many clothing lines, and I be like, bro, I know I can do that shit. Bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I got sauce, bro. Like, it's been time nigga ain't had shit. I go in the club, bitch, you'll think I'm the richest nigga in this bitch. I'm talking about sauced up. And there's times when nigga had everything still sauced up. Mm-hmm. So it's like, bro, I know with or without it, like, I could do this clothes shit. You know what I'm saying? 
And this, my dog, since you've been locked up, you, you can't give us no acapella now. They said them boys, best boys with acapella has been niggas that been locked up now. I don't know. It, it could be some throwback now. It don't gotta be nothing new. Something you don't wrote before we ain't here. They ain't here. Might be a new track or old track. Hmm. <clears throat> but you ain't got to now. We just want you to, you know, tip it toe. You know, we we, we be yeah. feeling for some bars now. I don't even know, bro. I can't even think right now, bro. I done been there. Well, it's so many songs. I done did new shit, old shit. And then I be like, bro, I drop some shit and then won't listen to it like I just drop it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be done just wrote it right there. Dropped it, listened to it, make everything sound good. And I won't listen to it again because it'll get old to me. Mm-hmm. Like some of these songs, like I got new songs. They ain't coming out for another five, six months. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't even really listen to them. Mm-hmm. And then I don't even, I don't know. I just... I got so much other shit going on, bro, like. You talking about beside the music? Yeah, outside of music to where it be like, when I write, like, I just sit down and focus. I lock in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's really my method. Like, I don't really do the freestyle shit. I ain't never did that. So with all this shit, so much shit going on, how you stay focused and maintain, though, dog? Because I know it's a light at the end of that tunnel. And I ain't never stayed down long enough to get to that tunnel, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, bro, do something different. Mm-hmm. And for the people that want to follow you, though, let them know on, on all platforms, how can they follow you, too? Follow me at, at Sluggers World on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? And then tap in Friday, link will be live, man, sluggersworld.com. You know what I'm saying? We're running everything independently through our own platform, you know what I'm saying? To the new album drop, Sluggers World drop Friday. October 22nd, Friday, this 12 a.m., Friday, Friday 10, 22, 10 22, Friday, 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 on sluggersworld.com, man. My first, you know, drop from my clothing line drop, 10 22, you know what I'm saying? So. And you got the website for the clothing line up already, too? All around through Let sluggersworld.com. Oh, slug, Everything through sluggersworld.com. Spell it so the people that. S L U G G A Z W O R L D dot com, man. Okay, Don't dude. miss it. 1022, man. It's limited colors, limited sizes, man. Listen, it's one and done. We got new drops lined up, ready for you, man. Tap in, man. Log in, submit your emails, man. Get, get notified on the mail list, man. Like, I'm really finna take this cold and shit serious, so. Okay, and, and before you get out here, any shout outs you wanna let them know? Man, just shout out yourself, man. Shout out my management team, man. Shout out myself for working. Shout out God for putting me here. Shout out, you know, my people for supporting me, man. Shout out my dogs, like it's, it's so many of them, like Flizzle, Bang. I can keep on going, Lenny. Uh, me and out of Jet, Juan, Hunter, Slick. Hollywood, Z, you know, like, everybody know, bro. Y'all know, bro. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's two minutes in there. Y'all know I'm fucking with you. Y'all fucking with me, man. Lock in, tap in, man. 1022, October 22nd, Friday, 1022, Sluggers World Drop, man. Sluggersworld.com, man. Y'all know what it is. Tippy Toe Podcast. Y'all already know. They go down every time, man. Till next time.